Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Abdurrahman and this is my first video in uh, English language for my YouTube channel. The channel is about ICS and ICS cybersecurity and here I'm covering several topics on uh, uh, including Industry 4.0, IIoT, OT and uh, part of the channel will be doing testing and simulation of scanning tool uh, simulation of cyber attack uh, etc uh, the channel were basically in arabic language then i decided to make it also in english so i will cover both uh, it's a bit uh, challenging to be honest uh, the idea of the first video is to uh, demonstrate what do I have in my lab for now and what capability I do have. So in case you want me to do any cybersecurity related test for any tools, uh, like assuming scanning tool also to scan uh, uh, industrial control system asset, I can demonstrate it in my channel and I can uh, talk about it. That includes cybersecurity and industrial uh, control system uh, devices. Uh, I hope you enjoy the first video. If you have any comment, if you have any advice, uh, recommendation, please share it with me in the comment. Um, I hope you enjoy. Okay, first thing first. Let me explain you how I made the design here for the industrial control system. Uh, it's uh, somehow a training kit uh, I prepared and it's also for analysis and testing cybersecurity and industrial control system uh, product. Uh, so I have uh, designed it on this box. Uh, recently I had another design and it was in a bag and I had the problem of uh, having enough space to uh, host more devices for like future tests and it was uh, really difficult for me but he, now I have as you see enough space here down and I can host more stuff and I have the advantage of uh, uh, adapting more devices so what you see here I have the power supply the main power supply source with 5 ampere and uh 24 volt dc to feed all uh these pc uh plc sorry now what we have here we have this so some sort of holder it's a base and it's fixed uh here and uh and here and it's removable so i can remove it any time i want assume if i am in a booth or in a webinar and so it's transferable and the PLCs here are fixed on this one and I also can remove it and the advantage why I did it this way as you can see I can move it I can fix it in a wall for example or uh, I can just put it with uh, uh, I can put it on uh, a table for demonstration where I can have more space here in the back for writing, for explaining, for adding also additional hardware. So here I have the touch panel and I have the uh, router for remote uh, access and this is a sniffer, a shark tap sniffer and I have the hub. For industrial control system I have uh, uh, four PLCs, it's 1200 uh, and uh, 1500 and 300 and 200 some of them are old and obsolete and the other two are uh, new why would I have uh, all these PLCs my idea here during demonstration and discussion uh, is to explain also one of the struggle we have as a cyber security when we go to a site and deal with these different brands, some of them are very old, some of them are new, and the compatibility issue and, uh, and uh, challenges we are facing. So, uh, currently I have uh, S7-1200 uh, here, 
and 1500 for now and 300 three of them are communicating with each other via uh, scalons uh, switch it's a managed switch and uh, of course s7300 here is mpi communication protocol it's old one and i'm using this uh, gateway uh, module here to communicate and to uh, configure it with uh, TIA portal. Um, you might ask why I'm using only Siemens BLC here. Most of my experience uh, in the last 12 years in Siemens products, so uh, it's much more easier for me and it's very friendly use to be honest. Uh, I have also here uh, Jiva Noc, which is very old. Uh, PLC. Now, uh, next thing I want to show you here is how I'm communicating with uh, uh, with the host here. So I have uh, Kali Linux uh, for testing and for analysis. I have TIA portal and I have HMI uh, software as well. How they are communicating with uh, these uh, PLCs. I'm communicating uh, via Ether TCP IP. I'm not using any profi pass here. Uh, this is only for show, so I'm not using any uh, profi pass. What I'm doing, I'm using a virtual machine and virtual box for that. And my virtual machine and virtual box are connected via bridge, bridge connection. Uh, where by using USB to Ethernet uh, converter. If you are using this thing, it's good if you use uh, uh, USB 3, not USB 2. Uh, this is the terminal block also for future once I'm done with my hard uh, with uh, my uh, hard wiring. For now, S7. 1200 is uh, connected to this uh, conveyor belt. It's index line with milling machine and drilling machine. And this is my first uh, production line here in this process. I have some mechanical issue, you will notice it now. And some programming issue as well. Uh, you will notice it, see? You see uh, how the object moved from the drill. So this is the first uh, product uh, line and it's connected with S7-1200. Uh, Later on, and currently I'm working on it, uh, the uh, robotic arm and the robotic arm functionality will be to pick the object from the index line when it arrives here and take it and drop it here in the electric and pneumatic line. So the electric and uh, pneumatic line represent the packing industrial uh, system and uh, it move on till it reach here. The, the pneumatic line will be integrated with a 7 uh, and as I mentioned, the robotic arm will be integrated with S7-1500. Why having these three PLCs being used? Why I don't use one PLC and save the cost? And we know that it's very expensive stuff. The idea here is uh, to simulate different process with three PLCs communicating with each other at some level. This is really what's going on when we go to actual uh, uh, in real industrial control system in real life. Uh, if you are uh, working on uh, a turbine, uh, on a diesel generator, for example, you will have different PLCs for different process, some for cooling, some for maybe uh, one for the turbine process itself. And these PLCs communicate with each other. And, that, and this one is one of the challenge we have in industrial control uh, system. So this is overall about uh, my lab setup. And finally, I have the IT part. So I'm, I'm considering here the integration with IT and OT. So I have, this is my IT panel, if I can call it panel. I mean, I made it from some sort of uh, uh, wood from some cabinet 
and I fit it together and it end up like that. And I have one Cisco switch and one Cisco router. Uh, when will be later on integrated with Active Directory with domain controller and also to test and to simulate uh, the risk and the compatibility with uh, OT system. This is overview about my lab setup. If you have any security solution you would like to test, like a scanning tool for uh, OT asset for example, if you have a product, an next generation firewall, you really would like me to test it and demonstrate it in my YouTube channel, please feel free, get in touch, and we can do something about it. We can uh, agree on something, yeah? Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope I didn't take uh, too much uh, uh, long time. And see you in next uh, new uh, video uh, in the near future. Cheers. Bye.